Okay, so I'm on Amazon and apparently I'm shopping for Audrey. Now I'm looking for crazy weird items. But I think the first thing I'm gonna get is Peppa Pig. So Peppa Pig. There we go. Let's see, I'm gonna get our stuffed animal. Add to cart. This is a toy I'm gonna get Audrey. You can't really see it, but yeah. One week later. Last week, I gave my brother free reign of my Amazon account. And this week, all the packages came in the mail. I had no say in what my brother bought. I don't even know how many things he got me. There could be multiple things in each box. But all I know is that he may have pulled some pranks on me because if you know my brother Jacob, you know that he is a little bit of a prankster. And uh, I am so curious to see what he picked out. So many packages have come in rolling. And I kept having to ask my husband Spencer if the packages were all here or not because I couldn't check Amazon or else the whole thing would be spoiled for me. So, I have been waiting patiently for this day. It is so hard for me to resist opening packages because it feels like Christmas every single time I open them. So, without further ado, let's open up some Amazon orders shopped by my brother Jacob. Let's just start off with this one right off the bat. It's a pretty inconspicuous box, just a basic Amazon box. Let's open it and see what he picked up for us today. I'm hoping he got me some good things, some practical, useful things, but I have a feeling not all the gifts are gonna be like that. <sighs> this is gonna be my first reaction. We're gonna react to this together. What is this? <gasps> okay, first, right off the bat, it's, it's looking cute. It's giving possible makeup, eyeshadow palette. Best wishes for you. I'll be here for your dream into the skies. Okay, what? I don't know what this is. It looks like a beauty product. Wait, what? <gasps> Ribbon hair rollers, no way! Okay, I actually really wanted to try this. It was on my Christmas wish list, but I never told anyone because I thought of it very last minute. And I was like, oh, everyone already bought presents already. So I was gonna wait to put out my birthday wish list or next year's wish list. And how did Jake know? This is a heatless way to curl your hair. It gives us instructions too. So my hair, unfortunately for this video, is already waved, so I can't test it out right now. I've never tried this before, so I'm gonna look dumb. But you like put your, this like right in the center of your head. I'm probably so wrong. I should read the instructions, but I think you just like twist your hair around this thing and but you do it with like your whole head and then you go to bed with it and i think your hair's supposed to be wet and then you like clip this on and in the morning you take this out and you have flawless heatless curls let me see if i'm right i think i'm right okay let me try it again i'm not gonna do the real thing because i don't want to ruin my hair already i should have not did my hair today if only i would have known i literally thought every single package on this couch right now was gonna be a prank by my brother because Jake just loves to prank me and I was like, you know what, I'm prepared. I'm prepared for anything at this point. So this is what we would do. Then we would take this hair elastic and if you have really long hair, it keeps going. So you have quite a bit to work with. Put the hair elastic to secure it. But then we do the same thing with the other side. Oh, I really hope that this works because that would be amazing. I'm trying to go heatless with my hair more and more just because I just want healthier hair. Healthier hair for 2024. Why does this look so bad? <laughs> Anyways, I feel like Queen Amidala from Star Wars or something like that. But this is the basic idea. Um, I'm gonna have to get better at this and I'm gonna do this later, but right off the bat, we already got a hit. Oh wait, I think you're supposed to put this up. I don't know, we'll figure it out, but Right off the bat, we have such a big hit. I don't know how my brother knew to get this for me, to be honest, because I didn't tell anyone that I wanted this. He must have read my mind. Um, but so far, I'm loving what's in these boxes. Thumbs up, this is such a win. Such a win. I'm gonna have my brother shop for me more. <laughs> Spend more of my money, Jacob. That's fine by me. <laughs> There's another thing in here. What are you? Sunny the Happy Blobfish. Okay, Sunny, let's take you out. 
Let's take you out of this box. I feel like this would be a very good gag gift for like a Christmas present. Oh my gosh. Is he trying to tell me something? Is he trying to tell me that I look like a blobfish? Oh, the wet. Sunny! <laughs> oh, Sunny got a lot of hair from the floor. Oh, Sunny, I'm so sorry. Can you guys see all the fuzz from my carpet? Oh, yo, yo. Okay, this is Sunny. Let's learn more about him. Warning, never send me anywhere. You wouldn't send a real blobfish because we can, we both can stain. All poor surfaces, mom's couch, the seats of dad's new car, walls you're fond of, your sister's new dress. Care instructions, store me in my box, rinse underwater to clean, sing to me at night, I never tire of compliments, don't make fun of my looks, read me lots of stories, don't swear in front of me, don't eat me, we're buddies. It's just what he is in all of his glory. I, I love Sunny. You know what? I should put Sunny over here. Let's put Sunny over there. <laughs> He's just, I gotta, I gotta like hide him in a cool place, except I don't want him to stain. I guess I gotta keep him on this thing and everyone will always know. This is Sunny. This is Sunny, everyone. He's my new um, pet. Love that for me. Never thought I would own a Blobfish IRL, but here we are. These gifts just keep getting crazier and crazier. We start off great and then we took a complete 360 and we ended up in the depths of the ocean. Okay, should we just keep Sunny here for the rest of the video? He'll just be staring into your souls. <laughs> Ew, Sunny is oily. Next box. Let's open up the smallest box from the Tower of Boxes. It's kind of heavy to be honest. What do you guys think is inside? I'm guessing phone charger, because I feel like like a power bank, like a foam power bank charger, because I feel like that's what would fit in this box at this size and shape. Okay, we have a sponge. The book of chances. Huh, is this like a game? I have no idea. Okay, are we playing a little game together? How did he find these things, honestly? He must have really got on like the weird side of Amazon. What was he searching? I gotta look at my search history now. What's funny is my brothers never even shop on Amazon, like ever, so it's interesting to see like what they would pick out if they had their own Amazon account, and this is what it would be. <laughs> okay. The book of chances, I'm ready to take a chance. Whatever that is. Oh, is it just like cards? Huh? We have slice and dice. What is this? But it's cool because like, ooh, we got like that holographic side. This might just be like a cool deck of cards. I don't know, where is it? It's own game. There's literally no instructions. It just is the book of chances. Okay, here we go. Huh? This seems like a game, but also like cards. I don't know. They're very, very beautiful. Let me just show you. We got slice and die space pizza. But what's confusing me is like, it looks like a normal card because up top, but then you get all these other symbols with like notes on them. Not sure that means. We also have use another material. That makes me think think that it's like a game, right? This one says, make the layers indistinguishable. Huh? Microscopic contours, envision the end, hidden movement. Like, are these just supposed to be like poetic cards or whatever? Like, I don't know. What is this one? Reorganize. That's what I need to be doing right now. Play as if there are no consequences. Well, these cards are very, very beautiful. Again, no instructions, but I am gonna look at the Amazon listing at the end of this video. So stay tuned to the end to see what these cards actually mean. I can't look at them right now because if I do, I'm gonna see everything else that are in these boxes. But we do have like the Joker cards, so they might just be normal cards that don't seem so normal. Find ideas and strategies for using these cards. There's like, okay, I don't know. I don't know, girl, pops. I don't know. Okay, let's move on to the next box. <laughs> bat 19. Okay, right off the bat, this is already so suspicious to me because I know what Bat 19 is. It's a company, I think they even have a YouTube channel, and most of their like items are like funny or gag gift items or like very interesting or unique things. And we've actually bought some stuff from them before 
for videos like spicy beans or I don't know they they sell some crazy stuff so this is suspicious wow the scent is strong oops sorry there I just kicked you but the scent is very strong it kind of smells like a candle what are you it yeah it's very much candle vibes orchard breeze candle why would he why why would he give me this it smells good but i'm like why would jake why would jake pick this out for me of everything like that is just so random okay now it's smelling weirder the more i open it the weirder it's smelling ew ew it's starting to stink it really reeks like, it smelled good at first, but now as I'm, like, unwrapping the layers, it's getting stinkier and stinkier. It smells, like, flowery, but also, like, armpits at the same time. Okay. Okay, this is most definitely... This has to be a gag gift. My fingers smell like baby poop. Like, someone went to the bathroom and did not wash good enough. This is what it looks like. Orchid breeze? Orchard breeze? I don't know. It's supposed to smell like flour. I don't know why there's an apple on it. But I think this is one of those candles that says it's one thing, but it actually smells like something else. I am so confused because it smells good and horrible at the same time. Like, it smelled good in the box, and then I unpackaged it from the bubble wrap, and it smelled like diarrhea. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just smelled like the worst B.O. poopy bathroom smell in the world. But now I'm smelling it right now. It smells okay? I don't know. Should I burn it? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let me go get, um, let me go get a lighter real quick. Let's burn this very inconspicuous candle. Like, why would VAT19, first of all, be selling a regular candle? Like, that's already a red flag for me because I know the company. If this was like Bath & Body Works, sure. I believe that this is what it says it is, but I'm very suspicious. Let's burn the candle. If this is a stinky spray, I'm literally gonna leave this in his room burning. If this is genasty, he's getting in this bag. <laughs> I don't know what to think of this. I can't tell if it smells good or not, and I feel like that is just, that's not good. I should be able to know. It's bubbling. Can you guys see that? It's bubbling at the bottom. I feel like this smells like nasty, nasty. I'm just gonna let this keep burning, and so it's gonna just make my room smell genasty, probably, but I want to find out for myself if this is truly a gag gift, so... Let's just put it over here for now. All right, I'm gonna leave it burning there while we open our last box. Okay, let's open up this bad boy. No! <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. No! Oh my God! Are you kidding me? Okay, so my brother and I have an inside joke about Peppa Pig. We both have never even watched the show, but I think it started with a video. I think it did, but it's been going on for so long. I literally forgot the origin of how this inside joke started. But basically, we would buy, every time we see Peppa Pig related things, we would think of each other. And so we would buy each other like random Peppa Pig stuff, whether it's Peppa Pig stickers, plushie, a little action figure, a pillowcase or whatever, and then we would hide them in the other person's room. This comes as no surprise that he would get me our gargantuan Peppa Pig. I don't even know what this little thing is. If any of y'all watch Peppa Pig, is this like Peppa's stuffed animal? Or is this another character? Let me show you what I, I literally bought this for Jake the other day. Let me show you. Okay, I just walked back in this room and I can't tell if it smells good or bad. <laughs> okay, so I bought this little like Peppa Pig figurine for my brother and I like hid it in a little gift for him. And yesterday I came home and I was unpacking my purse and guess what I found hidden in my purse? He snuck it in without me seeing. And this is just like, this is how it goes with Peppa Pig and our little inside jokes is that we would just pass these things back and forth. And so now I got baby one 
and I got gargantuan one and I'm gonna try to hide them in his room and get back at him But I just think that is so funny or you know what she could just be a staple on this couch She matches the pink vibes Peppa Pig can just hang out with me and my new blobfish friend and we're just gonna have a glorious time <laughs> my house is full of such random things. So yeah, I am not at all surprised that Peppa Pig made it into this video. Oh, we've got quite a bit of other things in here. Next up in the box, best gift ever. We were in tears laughing. That was the first thing I saw. I Okay, let's look at this closer. Oh, the ultimate dad joke button. Over 50 hilarious dad jokes at the push of a button. Okay, I think we should do a try not to smile. So y'all, play along with me. We're gonna do a try not to smile because it's harder than try not to laugh. You have to make a straight face and if you have even the slightest little smile, you're out, okay? All right, let's do this. Let's see if any of these are actually funny. Because some dad jokes are pretty good. Other ones I'm like, all I'm saying though is all these gifts are gonna be great for upcoming white elephant gifts at Christmas time. <laughs> I'm gonna be saving all these. All right, first dad joke. We gotta get in the zone. I don't always tell dad jokes. Sometimes I tell them to other people too. I love that they have an audience laugh track. They have like a oh and a ha. <laughs> let's do the next one. What do you call a cow who lifts weights? Shredded beef! I could be strong. Did you hear that joke about pizza? Never mind, it's a little cheesy. <laughs> these are horrible. These are these are so horrible. Okay, one last one. I know a lot of jokes about retired people, but none of them work. That one was not even good, and I kind of half don't even understand, but whatever. Well, let me know. Did you smile? Did you win or did you lose? All right, there's a couple things in here. Let's go with this one next. This is actually a good thing. Oh, okay. This is a good gift. I was gonna say, we started off strong this video with a really good hair curler set that I liked and then just got progressively more and more pranky, which I expected. But this, this is an LED Bluetooth beanie hat. Okay, okay. I feel like this is something that Spencer would like. It's called the Music Hat, and it has an interesting smell to it. It kind of is a little stinky. So this is like a light. I guess if you're like out at night, I don't know why you would wear that. Why, why, why do you need a light? Okay, Bluetooth beanie has to charge, so I wish I would have opened that first because we could have had it charging this whole time. But let's move on to the last thing in this box, which is this. Huh? I have no idea what this says. Let's open it up and see what we got. Please be something good. Please be something good. Okay. A leather case. Jewelry, a watch. I don't know. It feels like an accessory. Not an accessory. Wait, is this a pen? Wait, I am so confused. I thought it was like a little fidget toy thing, but Cause like, look at this. This is what it looks like. So you can do like a couple of different things with it. Use your ideas to create more shapes. Uses a normal writing gel pen. Uses a compass. Step one, take the pen body out of the second section. You can see the nib. I think this is like a pull apart pen. Oh, this is so weird. Okay, look, like this looks like a normal pen, right? You can like prank all of your friends at school with this and then your pen is just like bendy and you can break it apart. That is so weird on so many levels. So this is like the part of the pen that's the ink part. And then I think we put it in like this. Oh, she's a genius. It's an actual pen you can use. Okay, this is not the best service to be writing on because it's kind of plastic and uh, I'm like trying to write like vertical and this is a brand new pen but let's say let's see if we could do it again okay um any paper where can i get some paper i'm gonna try writing like this okay that's so much better it's gonna be better on normal paper but hey it works as a pen and then it says it can also be like a fidget toy but you can also like make it into cool shapes and stuff i'm gonna see what i can create and I will be back. I made a heart. 
out of my pen. <laughs> oh, so this is what it looks like. My heart, so cute. I'm gonna try to make a chair now. Here's my cute little chair. <laughs> It is crazy that a pen do all this. That's really cool. I feel like this is such a fun fidget toy because you can just, your creativity can just be endless. You can make so many different options with this. I think it's really cool. It's a cool fidget toy. It's a cool pen. It's a cool thing to show off like to your friends or if you have someone who likes unique gifts. The only downside I would say to this is that there's a lot of small pieces so that if you had like little kids or pets in your house, I'd be a little bit worried to have this around them, especially if you lose one of these little magnetic pieces. But Besides that, like, I think it's a cool gift. I will definitely show it to my husband because I think he will really enjoy this. Now I just gotta figure out how to put this bag together to be a pen and not a chair thingy anymore. Well, my music beanie is still charging. Let's go on Amazon and see if that's supposed to smell nasty. And what was the other thing we were gonna check out? Oh yeah, what to do with like the cards? Cause I am so curious what the listings were on these objects. Here we are. I knew it! I knew it! Stank prank candle. Here it is. Are you kidding me? This thing costs $16.42? That is one expensive candle! For it being like that size too, and it's stinky. Starts smelling like an apple orchard. Ends up smelling like this. I can attest to that. It is so weird to smell in real life though because it does it goes in waves between like the box smelled really good then i opened it and touched it with my fingers and it smelled nasty but now while it's burning it smells good too so like oh you have to see this so this is what the lifespan is the first little bit smells like apple scent and then farticles <laughs> <laughs> is that a real word? So the more I burn it, the more it's supposed to smell like toots, basically. Love that for me. Um, we're blowing this out right now. You're done. I'm not getting to the farticle smell. That would be funny if it didn't let me blow it out. Now my room has the smoke of the stinky candle in it, so that's great. That smells so bad. Let's look at the cards, though. Where is the cards? Huh? I am very confused because I don't see these cards as an Amazon order. Um, but I also looked at the package it came in and it most definitely was addressed to us. I don't know if Jake actually picked these out or did Spencer order them? Now this is even a bigger mystery. I got some mystery cards. They look really cool. I mean, I'll use them, but I just don't know how to use them. And I don't know if I'm supposed to have them or whose cards these are. That's a little crazy. That's crazy to not show up my Amazon order. Okay, I'm at my family's house and this is what I'm talking about, guys. I'm gonna hide Peppa Pig in Jake's car so he finds it tomorrow morning on his way to school. I'm gonna put it in the driver's seat. That's epic. <laughs> Dad's helping me. We gotta be fast. Where should I put it? Stick it on the orange thing. What's happening? Okay. I'm hiding it in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, Jake, I'm testing the last thing you ordered off of my Amazon. You want to see the cool light? What? It has a light Where is on it? it. And why did you? I think the light's meant to be on your head. Like, yeah, it is on my head. On my forehead? So I can see what I'm doing? Yeah. Oh, so if I'm like working in the garage yeah. or outside? Oh, that makes way more sense. I thought it was like- And then the so buttons some, are on the side here. I thought so the, like traffic would see me if I'm running, no. I guess. Can you hear it or is it just me? I can hear it. Is this the plus button? No. Oh. You just skipped. What? Now you're I'm on comedy, whatever. I'm trying to make it louder. I can hear the music. Can you hear here. it? Let me hit the plus sign. Oh no, it just changed. It's skipping it. the song. So wait, can you hear it or not? You can't hear my music? <gasps> oh my gosh, I just activated the Bluetooth on my my Siri. Did you like the candle? Yes. I lit the candle. And it smelled it smelled good in the package. And then I unwrapped the bubble wrap and it stinks. <laughs> then I opened it and I lit it and it started smelling good again. But I think once I get further, it's gonna stink. Because I think it has layers. 
Okay, so right now I can hear the music. Not sure if you guys can hear it, but let me put this on your head like I'm, you're pretending to be me. Can you hear it now? <laughs> this is what it sounds like. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> okay, music hat gets a thumbs up. It works. I can hear everything. I can activate Bluetooth from here, like my Siri. I can skip songs. So this one is functional. It's a thumbs up from me. Okay, overall, that was a fun unboxing to try. All of Jake's gifts that he ordered. <laughs> some of them were really fun, some of them were crazy. Let me know who you want to see next shop for me on Amazon and just take over my account without me knowing and I don't get to see what it is until I unbox it as a mystery surprise. <sighs> Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!